Jake Locker, undeniably one of the greatest players in the history of uh, UW football, came back for the senior year trying to do something he has not done previously, and that is go to a bowl game. His team is down a field goal with four and a half to play. They've got to win this game to become bowl eligible. Here goes Jake in the flat to the fullback. Nice catch made there by Austin Sylvester. An offset out of the right. Poke the tail. Bubble screen. Curse. Lock from Aguiar is spilled shy of the first down. He may have lost the ball. They say down by contact. Ball came out, but he hit the ground. Nice tackle there by the cornerback, Darian Hagan. Hagan's had an interesting year, been in it. In and out of the starting lineup. Let's take a look there as he goes low, up ends curse. Now he's down. They go to the Wildcat. They give it to Polk on the direct snap, and he runs for the first down. Jake Locker flexed out wide as a receiver in the slot. And they direct snapped it to Chris Polk, and he picks up the first goal, goal but obviously more problematic. High formation behind Jake. Locker's going to throw. And he's going to throw deep. He's got Curse. Curse made the catch on the 20 yard line. What a play! Jermaine Curse beats Darian Hagan. Well, what a throw in these conditions, but an even better catch. You said it, Greg. He fights back to the inside. Jake Lucker leaves that ball to the inside, and he fights back over Darian Hagan. And a big catch by a big-time receiver. He was a triple jumper, a track star growing up in Lakewood, Washington. What a great play that was to just go get the football. Now they're in field goal range. See if they can work the clock down. Cal has two timeouts remaining. You dub three. Collier gets out on the wing. Nice open field tackle made there by Chris Kelly. Take either, but they would much rather have a touchdown here and not have to go to overtime. Second and five. They have three receivers to the field side. Quarterback draw. Jake. Gonna run the umpire over if he doesn't get out of the way. First and goal. Washington on the Cal six and goal from the seven yard line. 97 seconds to play. Lockers in the gun. Versus to his right. Goodwin left. They empty the backfield now. Poke the back goes out wide right. Locker's gonna run for it. Jake Locker bangs it down to the two yard line. No fooling around now. The best running quarterback maybe the program has ever had. A guy almost ran it. It threw it right down their throat. Ran it right down their throat. As you take a look at one of his best collegiate games, Jake Walker, last year against Cal. That just December 5th, cold night at Husky Stadium. The only time he played against Cal in his career before today. He missed the 07 and the 08 games due to injury. Second and goal from the one-yard line. Locker himself off the left side. He's not in yet. Not in yet. Well, it wouldn't surprise me to see him pull this another couple downs, and that really runs the clock down for Cal. Well, it's almost, if you're a Cal fan, you don't know if you want to stop him or not because the clock is going to run now. You're on it. Protect the football. Try and get that thing over the goal line to get the, get the win or get the lead at the very least. And at, at the very least, you kick the field goal on fourth down. Young man from Ferndale ran a wing T offense in high school. Tries to sneak it in here to get the dub, uh, University of w, uh, Washington the lead. He didn't get any push at all. He got no push at all. He did not get it. It is fourth down. Now they're going to run the clock down and kick the field goal to go to overtime, you would think. But will he go for the win? Steve Sarkeesian is on the field. He's on the numbers on the 20 yard line. He's on the field. He's going to call another timeout and talk about it. Does he want to play quarterback? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but what do you do here? Do you go to overtime on the road, in the rain, or do you try to win it on fourth and goal? Well, I tell you what, I tend to play things by the book a little bit. I'm kicking this field goal, and I'm going to overtime. The team still has every bit the opportunity. And I'll, and I'll tell you the other thing, Greg, is if you if you look at overtime, I think the Huskies got to be thinking my offense is better than your offense. Well, I think he's going for it based on this team meeting. I mean, they're all coming in, and maybe they're and maybe they're trying to give Folk a little pep talk here on the field goal. But when you call them all together like this. 
They're going for it. It looks like they're going for it. They're going for it. You got to admire the moxie of young Steve Sarkeesian here. Well, and these kids want to do it, too. They just got to hope they got the right play called up. And this is going to be mono and mono right here. This is it. Win it or lose it. Fourth and goal from the one. Locker, hands off. Puck is in. The University of Washington Huskies have won the game. And he kind of walked in there off the right side. Yeah, great push. You saw Daniel Kanzagowski in there. Eric Kohler, the true freshman at Oaks Christian. And Austin Sylvester, no doubt about it. The Huskies wanted it. They got it. And a great way to propel themselves into the Apple Cup. You got to admire what Steve Sarkeesian did. Electing to go forward on fourth and goal, eschewing the tying field goal to go to overtime. Well, especially after, especially after that third down play, too, Greg. I mean, Cal defense absolutely scolded Jake Locker on that quarterback sneak, so they controlled the line of scrimmage, and Washington went right back at him, went over the